at Elm Fork Shooting Range. We are continuing our video series about shotgun shooting sports. So today we are going to deep dive into one of the three games that actually goes into the sport. But before we begin, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And also, we have some exciting news that we will be explaining later on at the end of this video. But make sure you mark your calendars one month from today, August 28th, we have a big event we are going to be doing and it might have something to do with a shooting expo. So get details at the end of this video. Let's dive in. So one of the misconceptions about shot, the shotgun shooting sports in general is, even you corrected me, I always say every time, I'm going out to shoot clays or I'm going to shoot skeet. But technically that's not right, obviously. There's three different games within this sport. So I'll let you explain that. Uh, so today we're shooting sporting clays. Sporting clays is my personal favorite. It's what I compete in. Um, You've won some national yeah, titles. I've, Give yourself a little pat on the back. I'll let you I've do it. I've won a little bit of stuff. Um, but sporting clays is definitely the most difficult, the most fun, the most random. Are you just uh, saying that because you like that one and you compete in that one the most? It's the most difficult for well, you? Well, if I thought trap wasn't boring, then I would shoot trap. <laughs> okay, keep going. Uh, but yes, I mean, sporting clays, they can come from wherever, do whatever, be as far and as fast, as slow as they want to make them. So what are the rules of sporting clays? There's different stations. How many stations? So in sporting clays, there's on average 12 stations that add up to 100 targets total. So you're shooting rounds of 100. Um, typically, like in a, in a major tournament, you can have like a 200 or a 300 main event. So it'd be like two or three hundred bird courses put together. Jeez, my shoulder would be giving out after that. You shoot two to three hundred birds in one tournament? Uh, over a course of... If it's of, a major yeah, one. Yeah, over a course of a couple days, but you are shooting oh, other okay, events at the same days. time. Okay, so how do they determine a winner? Like, um, they keep score, score, obviously. One point is for one hit, and then you don't get any points if you don't hit that one Exactly. Hit. So, so X's and O's. But what is a tie? Like, how do they... Because um, I'm sure there's been competitions where some people both have, like, a 99-point game. Yeah, so there's multiple ways to break ties depending on the level of the tournament. Um, so, like, at a national level, typically, you're going to shoot a super final or, or a missing out which is basically whoever misses first loses. Oh, wow. Um, I think you would lose that if it was between us. Yeah, I'm um, sure. But, okay, so then each, you said there's 12 stations, and then you shoot them in pairs of two, right? Yeah, so you're typically going to have stations of four pairs, so eight targets total, pairs of two, either report or true pairs. Uh, report is where you get your first target, typically the A bird, and then on the bang of the gun, you get your B target. And then on a true pair, it's both simultaneously. Do you, like, if you're competing, do you know which one they're going to do? Do they tell you beforehand, or is it it's just... It's all random. It's all random. So you just show up to the station, look at the targets. Hopefully they're not too hard, and Hope for the for best. <laughs> all right, before we start shooting, I want you to show me the difference between these two pairs that you shoot, the report pair and the true pair. All right. So we'll do the report pair first. With the report pair, we're going to get this A target here on our left and this B target here on our right, and you can be our gun. So. Okay, so I say pull, and that's what tells the person pulling to click the first one? Yeah, so you're gonna call pull, you get the first one, and then once you shoot that target, yeah. then you get the okay. second one. Got it, yep. ready? Pull! <laughs> Boom! Hit! Boom! Hit! Two points for Kendall. Okay, yeah. true pair. True pair is going to be both at the same time. So we're going to sim pair it, and when you're ready, they're both going to fly. Oh! Boom, boom! Another two for Kendall. It's time to get serious. Abel's Ammo helped sponsor this video, so I can't let him down with play I'm trying to outshoot this. Just take the gun. Oh. <laughs> Why do you go 
laser shot eight of eight, so here we go. I get report pairs, so. Fair enough. How does it feel to know that you can only miss one? I can't even. Actually, you can't miss any. Yeah. But if you miss one, you lose. Just saying, no pressure. I'll be a good sport this time around and be a fair loser. You won that. You did all right. I think you'd fare pretty good on a sporting class course. Well, I need to do a little bit more practice, so I'll come out here and practice more often. But as I said in the beginning of this video, mark your calendars for August 28th. We are going to be hosting a shooting expo out here at Elm Fork. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of shooting. You're yeah. doing some shooting clinics. Yeah, we'll do some clinics. We'll have axe boards dart boards, uh, bow and arrow yeah, shooting, might even some shotgun golf, shotgun golf. That's fun. And your dad might even do some trick shots. Yeah. Maybe we might have an exhibition show. So that yeah, might be pretty and fun. Yeah. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So make sure y'all mark your calendars for August 28th. It'll be right here at Elm Fork shooting range in Dallas, Texas. So if you're in the DFW area or heck, if you want to fly in and have some fun with us for a day. We will be here. I will put some more information in the description of this video. So go over there, check it out. And I want to say one last thank you to Abel's Ammo and Elm Fork Shooting Range for making these videos possible and being able to educate, educate you guys. So thank you so much for all of y'all's support and I will see y'all back next time.